Happy Monday. It's Monday, y'all. Y'all, it has been one heck of a long day, okay? Seriously, I'm on my computer as well as talking to y'all. But oh my gosh, like, um, today has just been so wild. It's It's been so long. Um, it's just been so long. Um, I got stuck at work this morning, so I worked third shift last night, so my third shift schedule is 11 to 7. 11 a.m. or I'm sorry 11 p.m. to 7 in the morning and that's what I worked last night well some freaking amazing co-worker of mine called in um at like 4 in the morning or whatever and that ended up making me have to stay um over because there was nobody else to come in so i was so mad i was extremely mad because i'm just like oh my gosh like i'm so sick of this this literally happens y'all i kid you not i'm not over exaggerating nothing this is literally something that occurs every time i work um on my last day which is so when i work third shift i work say say i work well i did i worked third shift last night and then my day is off we're supposed to be today and tomorrow monday and tuesday well, literally on my last day of my third shift, um, I always end up getting stuck. And so I'm literally like spending my last or spending my day off at work. And that really just pisses me off so bad because it's like, dude, why? You know what I'm saying? Like this, this is really irritating. Like I'm literally supposed to be at home right now, enjoying my day off, getting some sleep so that I can come home and do the things that I need to do well none of that was able to you know happen because I ended up getting stuck at work so I was so overly irritated with that just as a whole um just because I'm like this is stupid like this literally happened it's too much and so I don't know things like that make me um more prone to trying to figure out what can I do to work from home literally because I'm sick of having to um I don't know I guess I'm just at a place now and I've been at this place but like I'm even more at this place now um I'm tired of other people having control over my schedule I want to be able to be at a place where I can make enough money to you know support my family and then also um be where I can be my own boss. Like literally, I want to be in control of my own schedule. I want to be in control of the things that I do. Um, just period. You know what I'm saying? I'm sick of having to request to get a day off or having to, um, you know, be held hostage at my job when I have, you know, I can't do anything about leaving. That makes me mad. That that really, like y'all, I can't explain, and I'm not over exaggerating at all. I cannot explain the level of anger that I get when I get stuck at work. That's how serious I take it. I get so upset and angry because I'm like, one, y'all ruined my whole day because I had it all planned out. Literally every day or every night that I come to work, I plan my next day out because. In my head, you know what I'm saying? I know what I have to do. I'm busy, y'all. I have stuff to do. I have a son here at home that I'm homeschooling. Um, even though summer break is officially starting this week, we're still doing work because he got to be ready. I don't know what the fall is going to look like for him. I don't know if he's returning back to the school physically because of this whole COVID stuff. Like, I don't know. It's just I have so many things on my mind and I have no time for wasted time. And so when it comes to, you know, getting stuck at work and having to work an extra shift that was not of my, like, that wasn't something that I agreed upon, but I had no control over it, that upsets me, that makes me mad. And so, um, yeah, I just got really irritated and I was just like, this is not it. Like, I can't, this is, I can't, like, I really can't, I'm not going to keep, like, settling for that. And I know at this, at this point in time right now, I have no control period you know what i'm saying it sounds it sucks to even admit that but it's true but i'm a firm firm believer in prayer i'm a a jesus lover a god worshiper Ew. um like everything so i know that if it came to if push came to shove and i needed to make a sacrificial decision and it's so crazy because i've literally been talking to one of my friends about this and he was like you know um you keep saying 
that you know you make good money and stuff and I said yes it's true I really do and he was like but when are you going to step out on on faith and like really act on what you're trying to do and I said that's a really good point because it is it is it's a very very good point because um you know it it's true what he was saying was very well true and um I don't know you know i'm i'm getting to that point and i'm just right now i'm just you know going in prayer i'm i'm constantly praying and talking to god about it and i'm going to even start even more now um and just seek him seek his guidance and wisdom because something has to give to where if i have to make that sacrificial decision because i know i officially got that correct answer from god i will be okay i will not be afraid and you know um i, I won't be afraid you know what i'm saying and so I'm, I'm literally thinking about making that sacrifice of um make making a sacrificial decision it's 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 not something that I seen coming. It's not something that I thought that would even happen. But because of the way that things are going, and I can only see it going left from here on out, just because of like, I know the situation that's going on at my job right now. People are sick, people are injured. Um, or they're not sick, but they're injured. And these injuries are causing them to be off of work. And so it's like with that now, you know, there's lack in the schedule. There's short staff. And anytime that there is a short staff, there's going to be opportunities where overtime is available and they're going to keep calling people to pick up shifts. And then they're going to get frustrated because I'm not going to be picking up shifts. I, I did it twice. I helped out and got overtime twice willingly. This is voluntarily. Like I volunteered and picked up two shifts. Now I'm not because I, I don't want to because when I do, you know what I'm saying? I'm always getting stuck. So why would I pick up an extra shift on top of the, op like not the opportunity, but on top of the risk of getting stuck? So that I just, I can't, I don't know y'all. I'm just over it. And so I, like I said, I'm going to go deep in prayer with God. Like this is literally a decision that God has to um, reveal to me because I don't know. I don't know. I have I have really huge plans in my mind right now, really huge plans written down in my phone and my iPad that I need to make shake within, and I have up until like October, November to finalize these plans, literally October for my personal goal, um, to finalize these plans. And I don't know how any of the, or I don't know how this one big thing is going to manifest if I had to let go of my job. So I don't know. That's why I'm going to God in prayer with it because it's it's a matter of it. Something got to happen, basically. And I'm I'm at a point now where you know the sacrifice, and I'm I'm ready for it. Um, and this is gonna be a huge leap of faith, but you know I'm a, a huge faith believer. I have faith in God. I know God will do exceedingly and abundantly above all that I can even ask or think. I also know that He is willing. He's able, and He can make ways out of no way that I can't make. You feel me? So I know for a fact that regardless of what happens, if I do take that step, and um, you know, uh make that sacrifice um we'll we'll see what happens we'll see how this thing plays out god god already knows the things he already knows our plans for our life before we even know it and so um i'm just going to walk with him and follow his lead because i'm definitely um something definitely has to give and i know when i get tired of something i'm i'm stronghold on that on that um when i get tired of something i'm i'm gonna do what it takes to make sure that i'm okay in the end and i'm gonna do what it takes to make sure that i'm taken care of and making sure my son is taken care of it like i said this whole virus thing is like literally it changed everything for everybody in in such a way and i can honestly like sit here and say you know that we me and my son we literally lack in nothing throughout this whole period and y'all the volume of even saying that is like 
bananas like i am so beyond grateful and thankful that we lacked nothing we literally had food on the table 24 7 had gas in the car 24 7 had a vehicle 24 7 had a phone had cable had internet like literally every need was met every supply was met was there everything like we literally have been in our home our lights have been on our water has stayed on we've had our home this entire time i haven't had to worry or think how am i gonna pay something like y'all I, I could go on and on but i'm just saying that even in the midst of how i feel right now with the current situation that i'm feeling i'm still beyond grateful and thankful and nothing goes short of that i do not um I have no room to complain at all. No room to complain. And I'm grateful to God that he has literally kept us. He has literally, y'all, shielded us and protected us like in, in such a way that I can't even put into words. And I'm so grateful and thankful for that. And so I'm I'm very grateful that we've literally had, la we've, we've lacked nothing. I've literally haven't even had to worry about a babysitter in this time because my grandma is like literally the goat okay like she's literally the goat she's always there she's feeling for me when i'm getting stuck at work and she's like go home and sleep and i'll take him and you can get him later like y'all my family is so dope y'all like the level of support is it's like insane it's amazing and so i'm so grateful and even with you know not just with watching my son but if there was a need that i needed to be met period my family was down they was there so you know, sometimes I feel selfish in my mind for even feeling the way that I feel just about the present situation with my job and stuff. But like God knows my heart and he truly does because I literally thank God 24 seven every day. I'm constantly praying and thanking him just period. Like, thank you, God, for protecting us, for keeping us safe, for for um, providing every need, for making sure that we don't we haven't went without like literally constantly giving a prayer of thanks because I I have no room to complain at all and so um like I said I sometimes I feel selfish for feeling the way that I feel about my job but it's like reality is also still sinking in even though we're good there's still a situation where I have to address it like for instance the homeschool thing I said I may be homeschooling period you know what I'm saying just because this virus my son caught the flu like he got sick twice just in December, like November, December is right when the winter time was breaking out and the kids were in school. He got sick twice. And I'm just like, that was just the flu. You know what I'm saying? Now we got this whole demonic illness out here that is apparently, you know, everywhere. And we don't know, you know what I'm saying? We don't know where it's coming from. We don't know who can get it. Well, we know who can get it, but y'all know what I'm saying. Like anything can happen and I don't want to take that risk and put his little immune system in danger just because he needs to learn. I'm a whole mom. I have knowledge. I have wisdom. I know what to do. I've been teaching him homeschool stuff since they've been out of school in March. Even before March, we were doing homeschool stuff on top of him attending school. So push comes to shove. If I have to become the new in-home teacher, I will. I am. I'm, I've already accomplished that. And we can continue that wave. And if that means that I have to tweak some things to be at home and make some sacrificial decisions to be at home to ensure that my son is safe and to ensure that we're good at home, I will by any means necessary. So it's a lot, you know, even though we haven't lacked in nothing, there's still a lot of realities that are, are really going on. And I, I'm just dealing with them. And it's not a bad type of deal with is something that I'm literally taking hold of um take I'm, I'm really like making decisions and so that's where I feel like everything is with me I, I gotta make some sacrifices I gotta make some decisions I gotta literally literally sit back and think on what what is it what's my next move gonna be what is it looking like for me and my son because I'm the breadwinner you feel me I don't have a husband right now I don't have you know, nobody helping me out right now. So when it comes to making decisions, that's all me. When it comes to um, being held accountable, that's all me. When it comes to, um, you know, a role model, that's all me. My son is looking to me for the answers and for the guidance. And the way that he's he's living, he doesn't even know that there's, a, there's thoughts in my mind about what to do next. Because 
I don't put burdens on him. That's not his worry. He's a kid. He's a child. He's going to be a kid and a child and be able to live that kid and child lifestyle regardless of what's going on with mom. You feel me? So, yeah, I just wanted to come on here and vent to y'all for a minute. I don't know. I, You know, there was just a lot that was on my mind. And, you know, every time I get stuck at work, all these thoughts keep coming back even harder because I just be like, oh, this is so irritating because it's so irritating. But um, right now I'm starting, you know, working on my business and stuff. I have um, two businesses that I'm trying to flourish out. Uh, one is my meal business, which is actually slowly approaching and starting to hit off, which is looking really, really great. I just got to get um, the ins and outs of things like put together and I will be straight, honestly, and I'm very excited for this. Um, I took steps and and um filled out sheets and stuff everything that i needed basically to make this an official thing i've been doing and so i'm just i'm just keeping it going excuse me and i i see it getting ready to flour flourish really soon and i'm just very excited about what's to come um and then youtube i want my youtube to be a hit um i feel like i'm a cool person to talk to be relate you know relate to all of those things so i'm really excited about um getting youtube off um just hitting it off good with youtube like for real I, I want to i want more subscribers and i will do whatever it is to you know that's needed to do to get that and so um yeah so it's time to really like buckle down and work you know people have had times to do their businesses and stuff like that i haven't because i've been working and so now that i actually have the time to sit and take time to do what it is that i need to do and and make my businesses flourish and promote my stuff that's what i'm doing and i take literally every opportunity that i can to make sure that those goals are met i set personal goals for myself um making sure that any free time i have i'm i'm locking it in with this um because there's no there's no lack this is literally going to be a go um and so yeah i'm just really ready excuse me i'm just really ready to hit things off um because it's it's definitely going to be um it's, it's going to be great and i'm ready to hit it off and and finalize it so you know, we'll be good. I'm trying to, um, I'm trying to make things move, make things shake, for sure. Oh, this is awesome. They emailed me back. Well, y'all, I just wanted to, um, come on here and just talk to y'all briefly for a moment, kind of, um, vent a little bit, you know. Is this my thing? That would be freaking amazing. Yeah, I just, I wanted to come on here and vent just a little bit, y'all. I did. Um, I'm sorry, I got an email that I'm trying to see. Is this literally what I think it is? I'm not exactly sure, though. I don't know. Hmm, I don't know. But um yeah, I just wanted to come on here and talk to you guys. Just vent a little bit. Thank you guys for listening if you watched the whole video. Um if you have, you know, the same issues or I don't know, just, you know, anything that you're trying to figure out and get it together, like push through, get it and and um my advice to you would be honestly to seek God and pray because um wow oh my gosh i'm sorry i just read like a crazy text but um yeah just pray pray about it things is gonna work out and you know if you have god in your life trust me he knows the answers he 
he is the way to go honestly like if you're trying to figure out something you contact him you talk to him okay because seriously um that's that's the way to go I think I have to do this. Okay. So, yeah, I'm going to get off of here because I have a little bit of um, business to take care of. And, yeah, I will talk to y'all in my next video. I love y'all. Thank you guys for watching. And, yeah, take care. Be safe. Bye.